All right, what you see here is a Hunter Low Profile 2 ceiling fan in antique brass finish and 52 inches. I'm showing up the oak blades and has reverse walnut blades on the other side. Got this from Brandon C. Johnson four years ago, brand new in the box. This fan is actually the first fan I actually ever got from him. And I have gotten quite a bit of fans from him over the years. This is the first one I actually ever got from him and never did a video of it being tested. So here it is. This fan is from the first quarter of 1998. So it is a little bit old. It's quite a few years older than the white one that I have. Um, this fan um, was the first new in box hunter I think I got as a collector. And yeah, it's definitely yeah, it's definitely the first new in box hunter I got as a collector. Um, it's the first. It's actually the second. No, it's the second fan I got as a collector new in a box. And it's definitely one I've been wanting to. Definitely one I've been wanting to test for quite some time now since I got it. Just never got got around to doing it. But, um, yeah. Has the non logo switch cap. So, one of the few models from the 90s that had a type of switch cap. There's the Hunter logo right there. I know that this in the Hunter Mayfair were the two that always had these type of switch caps on them. I'm not sure what else did, but. Oh, I don't know. That, those are the only two that I can think of off the top of my head that, and that I've seen that always came with these type of switch caps. And, um, yeah. And, um, I did debate when I first got it. Um, well, when I was first putting up, I said, well, I shouldn't use these blades on or use the ones from the low profile. I used to be installed in the living room, but I figured maybe just use these ones. Nah, and they're obviously in better shape, but... Um, the other ones are more scratched, so... And I had to swap one with the other since one side of the walnut was bad. And one side of the oak was scratched, so... Yeah. So let me go ahead and start it off on the wheel. It's not plugged in all the way. There we go. Here's wheel speed. For some reason with this fan, ever since I put this one up... The plug that goes into the um, white outlet there has some connecting all the way. I'm not sure why, but it's just doing that for some reason. It's definitely a thing I can see in quite a bit of places, like a like a shoe place, like a dressing. I like a suit rental place of some sort, tuxedo rental, dry cleaners, a man cave or like a game room downstairs, living room. There's a lot of places I can see something like this. I mean, it is an antique grass, four bladed hug of oak blade, so that's kind of the other reason why I can see this installed in many places. Interestingly enough, even though these were sold from the year 1995, to the year, the last year they were sold was 2003. You don't really see these popping up that often compared to the first generation no profile. Something I kind of find a bit interesting. Of course, it'll be that these were, since these were special order ones, that might be the main. I'm not sure if they, I never seen these in the stores as a kid, but they could have just been special order only, which might be the reason why you don't see these as often as the no profile one. Like the white ones show up the most, obviously, because those I know those were sold in stores, but I feel like the bright brass and antique brass low profile ones also were special order, which might be the reason why you don't see them. At, or sh they were showroom exclusive ones, maybe. I don't, cause I don't know if they ever sold them at, at Home Depot in antique brass and, or bright brass, but um, or like in the store specifically. But like, it's probably the main reason why you usually always see the white ones. Yeah, it definitely has a good low speed to it. Um, it's not it's a little bit fast, I feel, for a weird fan, but... I think it's just because I'm used to the other ones going a little bit slower. The bright brass one I used to have in the living room. That might be why I'm still used to that one going slower. <clears throat> Alright, now for medium. But 
I mean, um, I did see these in bright brass as a kid and in white uh, in person. I saw a white one on display in the Dominican Republic. I saw a bright brass one on display in the Dominican Republic as well. I'm not sure if that, those were 42 inch ones or 52 inch ones. It's been quite a bit. I think the, um, the f bright brass one was a 52 inch one. Well, I could be mistaken. And um, I did see a bright brass one at a, um, with a spotlight kit on it at a uh, motorcycle place that sold motorcycles, ATVs, you name it. Um, it was in an office. Actually, it had a bullet spotlight on it. And it's still there to this day from, from what I can remember. Last time I saw it was like five years ago. Just my phone had died, so I couldn't film it, unfortunately. But, um... Yeah, and that's kind of what made me want to emulate that look onto the brass low profile that was in my living room. Yeah, it's a pretty quiet fan. All right, now for high. Definitely moves quite a bit of air. Now it's not really a um, fair test on this fan due to the fact that it's a hugger fan and as you can see there's quite a bit of air clear clearance above the blades compared to if it was installed on the normal ceiling. So I'll see it's gonna move a bit more air than it normally would. But basically it's a spinner motor hunter so for the most part a lot of the spinner motor hunters move the same amount of air anyways. So it's not like it makes a big difference. Like, not like, I mean, there are some that will move a little bit more, depending on, like, the blade pitch and the blade size. Like, I know it's a square tip harness like these, or, like, the ones with the point tip tend to move more air than the ones that have, like, the skinnier blades, like the Infinities and such. That's something I've noticed. But it also depends if the fan is a cheaper model by Hunter, like, if it's, like, a silent breeze or something like that, coastal breeze, that also definitely will be a factor in how much air it moves as well just those ones usually go a bit slower than one like this down and now show me first afterwards. I forgot to put my the dog in the um, living room side. I forgot he was in the bedroom but Usually he's quiet. He doesn't move around much if my mom's not home anyway, so. Yeah. Alright, now for reverse. No. This is actually a fan I had considered a few times on swapping the Muhammad my grandmother's house with, but knowing of how she takes care of it and also of how often you find low profile twos, um, I figured 
I'd rather not. But, um... Plus, I don't know if she, would, she really likes the look of that one, but... Definitely be an upgrade, without a doubt, but, um... If it was, like, um... Something else, like if it was, like, a... There's other Hugger fans I can put up that are pretty good as well that would do... That are in Antique Brass, I think would look good in that space. If it was a little profile one in Antic Brass, that'd be different. And I'd love, I'd love to find one of those in 50 inch sizes as well. I noticed that those are definitely more common compared to an Antic Brass low profile two. Because you don't really see low profile twos popping up that often compared to the first generation ones. Third gener generation ones you don't see as often either, but they definitely do seem to show up a bit more than the, the low profile twos. Definitely does a good job on reverse. Moving the around. And yeah, and that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.